hard to follow Dr. Fauci, who I would argue has been the most important consequential public servant in the United States in the last half century and a leader and a role model for so many of us. So, Tony, thank you. Um, so thank you for reviewing the safety and eff effectiveness data. I will tell you, it is remarkable to me what data have come in in the last month. Um, I was here in front of all of you a couple of months ago talking about what we expected. All of the evidence that has come in in the last month has far exceeded our expectations on the efficacy of these vaccines. And the safety data has continues to be terrific. Today, I want to focus on a new six-week sprint that the administration is announcing to get more Americans their updated shots before the cold and winter season really settles in. Now, I want to start off by saying we are heartened to say that we are not alone in this effort. Just yesterday, 12 of America's leading medical and clinical societies, I'm talking about the AMA, I'm talking about American College of Physicians, the American Association of Family Physicians, I'm not going to list them all, 12, but they all joined together with one simple, strong recommendation for all Americans, which is go get your updated COVID vaccine shot and go get your annual flu shot right away. Now, why did they do that? Why did America's physicians, speaking as a unified voice, say that? Because they know the best way to save lives this holiday season is to ensure that all Americans, particularly seniors, get their updated COVID vaccine and their flu vaccine. Now, we've already had 35 million Americans have gotten their updated COVID vaccine, including 16 million seniors. And we are encouraged by steady and strong week-by-week -week numbers. We're seeing about 4 to 5 million Americans getting it every week. But we are working hard to reach even more Americans, especially older, more vulnerable Americans. So as I said, today we're launching a six-week sprint to help Americans get their updated shot by the end of the year. As part of this effort, um, with our limited resources that we have, we are making a series of announcements and a series of efforts to expand community-based COVID-19 vaccine efforts. So let me lay out some of them. We're announcing $350 million in funding to help community health centers meet people where they are, with facts, with vaccines, through proven methods like partnerships with faith-based groups and mobile vaccine clinics. We're announcing an additional $125 million to help local aging and disability networks to get older and more vulnerable and disabled Americans vaccinated. This will include efforts at senior centers across our great country. The Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, is going to be issuing guidance today reminding nursing homes that they are required to educate their residents on the benefits of COVID-19 vaccines, and they are required to offer vaccines to residents. And nursing homes that don't do these very basic things will be referred for greater oversight and possibly face enforcement actions. We're doubling down on our trusted messengers work because we know that makes a difference. We're working with national and local organizations, state and public health departments, pharmacies. You're going to hear schools and colleges and universities announce that they're hosting clinics. All of this, we think, is going to make a difference. Also, what will make a difference is more paid media efforts by the Department of Health and Human Services designed to reach tens of millions of Americans, for instance, that are watching the World Cup through, the, through television and through digital ads. Bottom line is that we're doing everything we can in the next six weeks to help families get their updated COVID shots by the end of the year, because it's the best protection for this winter. And remember, for a majority of Americans, this is going to be a once a year shot. One COVID shot, once a year, just like the flu shot. Now, while I'm encouraged by the work that so many are doing, we need everybody to step up. We need to make protecting our loved ones an important part of the conversation we have around the Thanksgiving table, an important part of the conversation we have in the days and weeks ahead. Because here's what we know. If folks get their updated vaccines and they get treated, if they have a breakthrough infection, we can prevent essentially every COVID death in America. That is a remarkable fact two and a half years after we found this virus first in our country. But it's going to take all of us to make that happen. So please, don't wait. Get your COVID shot. Get your flu shot. That's why God gave you two arms. Get one in each arm if you want. Go to vaccines.gov, and let's do everything we all can to protect the American people. Thank you.